Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we got some more rocks to cut for you guys. Let's get into it. Today it's a little overcast. Hopefully we'll be able to see everything nicely. First one, we got another one of those fossils. One side fell apart, but the other side looks nice. Get that nice shell fossil. Another bird's eye seashell fossil. Once again, the other side fell apart. This one's a little interesting. Got some lighter colors in it. Pretty cool still. Here's some more of that black agate that comes from out by Levan. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, look at that. It's really cool. Looks like pliers or gardening shears. That's cool. Another shell fossil. This one also broke. Oh, look, it's another one of the ice cream cone ones. As one of my, well, actually, no, two of my subscribers mentioned that this looks like an ice cream cone. Yep. Another one of them. Cut open another laminate cube that was broken on the outside. Okay, don't really see any pirate in that one. They're still kind of cool though. Very interesting. Here's some Jasper I found probably a long time ago. From somewhere here in Utah. Oh, that's pretty. That's got some nice patterns in it. Look at that. Yeah, I like that one. Another bird's eye. Oh, pretty good shell on that one. Not too bad. Looks like the tip of it broke off. Here's some of that Vernon Wonderstone. I do like this stuff. It's, it had a fracture right there. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Looks like a key. Or a butterfly. I don't know. Here's some more petrified wood. Oh, <laughs> that's very dark. Here's some more red horn coral. Decided to cut straight across this time. Ooh. Oh, that turned out really good on this side. Nice. Here we go. Another Dugway geode. Oh. Huh. Doesn't have hardly anything in it. This is just an old mine rock I had sitting around. Some copper ores on it. Probably came from Eureka. I've been to a lot of copper mines in Utah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Actually, there's a lot of chalcedony, I think, in here. Or quartz. Whatever form it's in. Here's some uh, pink petrified wood from Nevada. Oh, well, that one's quite pretty. Hold it like this. Cool. You can see into it. It's a nice agate in there. Here's another Dugway geode. You can already see it looks nice on the outside. Here we go. Ooh. Hey, that jumped up a little bit. It was down here. Now it's up there. That's really nice. That looks beautiful in there. Here's some more black agate from the van. That is very black. <laughs> Still neat stuff, though. So here's a piece of Jasper agate. It fractured quite a bit. It used to be a lot bigger. And it comes from central Utah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Here's another agate I had sitting around for a long time. I found this in southern Utah. Can't remember where. Probably out by Enterprise. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is quite nice, actually. Wow. That's better than I thought it was going to be. Glad I finally cut it. Here we have some more unusual geodes or thunder eggs. These actually come from the reservoir by the little town of Enterprise. Let's take a look. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, it's just a bunch of little bubbles all stuck together, but it's got some neat stuff to it. Another piece of Levan black agate. Got a little bit right there. So a little bit on that side too. And as our final one today, and the sun just came out, <laughs> decided to cut another one of these flat geodes from Dugway. And it already looks nice there. Hey, that's pretty good. Very nice. And there you have it, some more really good stuff. Made me remember some of the places I've not been to in a long time that I need to get back to and make some videos for you guys. I'll get around to them eventually. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.